To be or not to be? That is the question. What's up, guys? Brunsnick's back, and am I a wall baby? You get a lot of comments about, hey, why don't you do this on Sports Shot? Why don't you do your reviews on a Sports Shot? We want to see what the ball really does. We'll be bowling on PBA bear pattern. Tougher pattern out there. I think it's a little flatter, so we're going to see what my skill set will be when the lanes are tough. But before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's see how the YouTube wall baby can do on a PBA pattern. All right, it's time to conquer the bear pattern. 41 foot pattern. The first thing when going into patterns like this that I talk about, and for most of you that don't know my history, I was a PBA member for about 15 years, bowled out of the West region, tried to go exempt on the tour trials, didn't happen. So bold regionals, and that's where I stayed. That's the only level, never won. I was competitive here and there, made a lot of caches, a lot of finals, never got it done. The one thing that is so important when you're bowling on patterns, and it all starts from before you even throw your first shot in practice, is to be prepared. As you can see, I got in my hand, I got four pads with me. I got 800, 2,000, 1,500, 1,000. I carry these wherever I go because getting the ball to slow down properly is going to be imperative to striking. So we're going to get warmed up. I'm going to throw some shots. I got two bowling balls with me. That's it. I have my trusty purple hammer, which is still legal, by the way, and the brand new Mesmerize by Brunswick. So strong, ASIM solid, and a urethane ball because, hey, what else could you possibly need when they're fresh on the bear pattern? So I'm going to start with resin. Now this is out of box. I haven't touched the surface. I bowled a game or two on this, but hey, we're going to just start warming up and go from there. I need to see what exactly the lane's giving me. So let's do that. So for something like this, 41 foot, I'm not going to do anything different than when I normally do like a house shot. I'm just going to start standing on 15 and just see what kind of the pattern gives me. It's a little flatter, but it's not entirely flat. So maybe the outsides might hook. I don't know. 41 feet. We'll see. They do hook. So ultimately what it's going to come down to is controlling the back end motion when they're fresh. That's all I look at. So the mentality changes from house shot is where can I find hold? Where can I find hook? I'm going to try to find where out of bounds is one. So I'm going to do some checks in practice to see, hey, is resin going to be the best shot for me? Or is something maybe like your thing going to be? And we're going to test that as well. So figure, you know, in practice, 10 minutes, especially in like PBA kind of conditions, where you're going to get quite a bit of practice because you're only going to have like four or five people on a pair, maybe, maybe six at most. Well, let's try this again. That's out wider. Okay. So outside there is hang as it should be. The ball shouldn't recover from that when you're on a flatter pattern. So my next shot in practice is going to be to move right and get up on top of that spot out there to see if I can square up my angles and get it to recover. So that's going to be the next shot in practice. Mind you, I'm still warming up. That's my second shot after a 20 minute break. So I'm pretty cold at the moment. So there I'm going to move a whole zone. I'm going to go five boards right. I'm going to get closer to the friction. Uh oh. All right, so I got that out just a little too far, labors a little bit. At this point, I'm going to ask myself, do I want surface or not? Do I feel like the pattern is going to require more surface than I have brought to the table? And right now, the, it's saying no, I don't think so. But at this point, I'm going to be thinking urethane already out of the gate. I'm going to try one more shot where I don't get it out so far and see what happens. Just in that same zone right there, maybe a board more right. But the other thing I'm doing is I'm trying to get more up the back of the ball. Yeah. All right, so right there, alarm bells are singing in my ear. They're saying, that ain't it. You're going to have to change something, get away from that zone one or the other. So my instinct would be right away, go urethane. 
So what do you know? Just happen to have my trusty urethane. Now, you can't use Purple Hammer on PVA Tour, but guess what? I ain't in the PVA Tour. This ain't the PVA, this is in Brunswick HQ. I can do whatever I want. I make all the rules. So this ball, uh, once upon a time I hit it with 500, is lane shine a little bit, so I'm just gonna leave it like that right now. If I need to hit it with surface, I will. So now I'm gonna get right up closer to the gutter, right on, try to roll around first arrow here with urethane. Uh-oh. That's okay. That was more like two, three board at the arrows. And that ball checked up pretty nice. Now, if I want to have the whole world, I would probably hit with surface because I don't necessarily want to throw it slower. I don't think I do. There's plenty of oil on the outside. And I can't really move in at the moment. I don't want to at least. So we're going to try that again. My goal is to get right up on the gutter here, but I don't want it to skid that far. There we go. Get out of there. All right. After seeing that and seeing that the ball is going to labor when I give it a little bit more speed and kind of not set up an early hook, I'm going to hit that ball with some surface while I'm still in practice. So since it's purple hammer, I'm going to hit it with 800 pad. Right now, everybody on my pair is probably cursing me. I just want to freshen up the surface. I need to give a little more teeth. Normally, I might even hit it with 500 because I want to throw it hard. I want to stay out and I want to break down the pattern. So let's see what this does for me. Now, this is going to hook quite a bit because we just cleaned off a lot of the contaminants. The ball's going to hook like mad at first. Oh, come on, yeah. So right there, I'm feeling good. Threw a good shot, I'm in that zone. I'm not playing too far out towards the gutter. Now what if you don't like urethane? Now, granted this video is more about me. Can I handle patterns that are a little tougher where I need to be more accurate? That's the question, can I be more accurate? In all my career, I've always been kind of more of a grinder, where I'm going to grind out spares, I'm going to grind out doubles, until the pattern develops in a way that I find a little bit of room, and then I'm going to do my best to knock out some strikes in a row in order to score. That's it. Especially on a pattern like this, or any pattern that's flatter, keep the ball in play, especially early. Don't give up the pocket. Make your spares. Grind out something. Now, if you're grinding out 200 and all of a sudden the scoring pace in the first game is 250, do something different. But I'm going to throw one more shot here because I want to see what it does now if I give it just a little more room. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're locked in now. So I'm ready to pull a game, right? So let's go back to the resin ball. Let's take the scenario out of the play where, all right, I don't have urethane to mess with, right? So let's throw the mesmerize again, and we're going to walk through that same process of trying to get lined up. Now we finished where the ball was not hooking from the outside. So resin on this pattern, would I need to move a little bit in and make like five board my gutter? Is that the play? I don't know. But let's do that. I'm going to move it back in a little bit. I'm going to try to play like five board is my gutter now. That got out to about six board look like. Now that's not a ball I think I want to square up more. I think I'll have more trouble early on because you always got to see things shots ahead. You got to anticipate your moves. So this is all mindset going in where, all right, where is everybody playing? That's one thing I gotta take into account. If I'm throwing resin, where's everybody playing? Am I inside of everybody? Am I outside of everybody? Am I playing the right zone? That's a big question right there. Right there, however, ball had a little bit of trouble slowing down, right? So I barely got the, the head pin there, real close to 2810. I'm gonna try one more shot there. I'm just gonna bring the speed 
down a little bit. That's all I'm doing. It's a little wide. All right. A little bit wider. Probably got right on five board right there, but hit a flat hit there. Now, if I want to see that ball read just a little bit sooner, and I know you're thinking, hey, you just flat tend, why are you going to add more surface? Because I want that ball to check harder. And I want it to check a little earlier so I can maybe give it a little bit more speed or maybe a little bit more axis rotation so it can bleed off a little energy. So all this stuff I just do by hand. That's all. I'm not trying to hit it super hard. I'm not trying to turn this into a snowball, as Mo Pinnell used to say. I just want to clean up the surface a little bit just to give it a little bit more teeth. I just need something to get me through like the first six frames. That's it. All right, let's try that again. Let's see if this changes the look. Oh man, I missed that a mile. And that's where the difference comes in between like sport patterns, PBA patterns, and your typical house shot, where you miss in like that on a house shot, you have a chance of hitting the pocket. There, no chance. That's always a great move. You know, you hit it with surface and then you miss a mile in. Good job. All right, let's try that again. Maybe not uh, miss seven, eight left. That'd be cool. Maybe. Nope. Yeah. All right, so I don't necessarily like this play. I'm much more comfortable defaulting to urethane. Now, granted, I don't have another ball to go to right now for the sake of this video. This is just kind of warming up, breaking down patterns. Do I have the mental mindset and the physical game to stay accurate? Now granted, when I do my reviews on a house shot, it's a 13 to one ratio. It's pretty much wide open. But if you look at the specto numbers, pay close attention to the break point position. You'll notice something very much the same across the board. My target's always gonna be around four or five board and I don't deviate from there very much. Depending on where I'm playing, it doesn't matter. If I'm playing straighter, target's gonna be around five board. If I move way in, it's typically gonna be around five board. Sometimes, back-to-back -back shots, I'm within a quarter of a board, that's insane. 42 feet. All right, I'm gonna try one more shot here. I'm gonna move it in just a board. See what happens when I go away from the pocket just a little bit more. Can this recover? I'm gonna struggle with carry right there with that ball. I feel like I'm too far in, too quick with a strong ball. I'm gonna need something a little bit smoother that I can play a little straighter to start with, at least on this pattern. I'm gonna go back to the urethane. So say, all right, red bar's about to go down. I need to get figured out. I need to make my final decision on what I'm gonna start with. And what do you know? Runs next using urethane. No kidding, because I know I can control the pocket with this. I know I can get through the first game and I might be able to use this all block, who knows? But if nobody else is gonna be using urethane, that means I got all the fresh to go to when I change pairs. Hang on. It really is kind of an unfair advantage, right? When you got a ball so good, like hammer urethane balls, and I'm not just gonna say purple hammer because the black hammer won quite a few times last year, this year, sorry, last season. And you know what? Urethane is in play. Urethane's always gonna be in play. Sure, you can make patterns that eliminate urethane play. Well, they don't do very much of that because a lot of guys still use urethane. So starting out, I'm gonna be pretty confident on this pattern. Make this look pretty easy. Hold on. Yes. Do I bowl on house shots all the time in my videos? Absolutely. Because I know my viewers, most of you bowl on house shots. Why don't I do sports shots? Why don't I just put it on another pair and just do some review on there as well? Because I like to do videos for the masses, that's it. For the people that do bowl sport, 
there's gonna be some reviewers out there that might do it on sport. But as far as reviewing a new ball, I don't think you'll ever see me do it on a sport pattern because the percentage of bowlers that actually bowl in a sport league, very, very small. All right, let's throw one more shot. I've already started this tournament off with a double. I'm already in the zone. Let's go. Tournament leader after three frames, everybody. It's almost as automatic as it gets. But that's all. Hope you got a good look at kind of like the mindset that I go into. And granted, I don't bowl a lot of tournaments. I bowl USBC Nationals. But once upon a time, I bowled Sport League and I bowled on the PBA Regional Tour. So that mindset's still with me. I'm a very calculated player. I'm a grinder out there. I make my moves and I try to get it done. Some days I bowl good, some days I bowl bad. But am I a wall baby? Nah, I don't think so. Am I the best ever? Absolutely not. I'm just a YouTuber trying to make videos and help people out, that's all. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't and also check out the merch. Got brand new designs and a brand new logo on hoodies, t-shirts, all that good stuff. Talk to you guys soon. Please subscribe, helps out the channel.